Hey folks, Craig here, and this is Head to Head Electronic Baseball from Coleco. This came out in 1980, so it's it's actually older than me, uh, only by a few years. And these kind of uh, sports handheld electronic games that used LEDs uh, to indicate, you know, player position and things like that, um, were kind of popular in the late 70s and early 80s. Mattel famously had a line of them, most popularly uh, football. I myself actually owned a, a basketball, a Mattel basketball from that era. Someone at a flea market had it for $10, complete in the box, pristine, beautiful. Uh, I ended up selling it because I, you know, I dug it out of a box like years later and I'm like, why, the, why do I own this? <laughs> you know, I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't play basketball. Um, but um, this, uh, Coleco had a few of them as well. And this baseball one uh, for me is it's kind of special um, because my my grandfather uh, used to own one of these. Uh, he 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 had it when I was a very very small child. He used to keep it in a roll top desk in his office, and he never really played it. Um, someone probably gave it to him as a gift, uh, as a kind of novelty. Um, I don't think he understood it, and I'm going to be honest with you, as a very small child. I didn't understand it either. I still don't. I actually have the um, instruction booklet here with it. And I, I'm well, first of all, I'm not reading all this. <laughs> I had to look in how to put the batteries in. It was, it was, there was just cables running everywhere. The batteries are very strange. But I have very fond memories of this. Um, this inscrutable electronic toy because it was the only thing in my grandparents house that was vaguely toy like you know obviously I, I always went for it because you know what else was i going to do um you know this is the only toy like thing at my grandparents house and of course my grandfather would let me play it and um I, you know it, it's one of those things where i love sharing video game memories and i love hearing other people's memories um video games end up being so uh, linked to our experiences the way folks who don't play video games might describe like a particular song or album or something like that and um, you know some of the best memories are, are are ones that you can't even really fully articulate um, because they're so hazy and they're half remembered and um, that's kind of what what this is for me is this these hazy half remembered memories uh, you know sitting there with my grandfather trying to to figure this thing out as a very small child, one of the earliest electronic uh, games I've I ever played. Um, if you can call what I was doing with it playing it, because it really wasn't. Um, but I wanted to share that memory with you. You know, part part of you know this 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 formative uh, experience. Uh, you know that uh, you know eventually helped shape you know TV and lust, I guess, right? Um, so if you want to share some of yours in the comments, I would I would love. To read those I, I you know they don't make good videos honestly <laughs> this is a very brief video I'm, I'm really making it more for myself than anyone else but um, you know I, I love the half remembered memories uh, not good entertainment for other people but um, you know they leave an impact on you right so uh, I want to thank you for watching I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and until next time you take it easy mm -hmm.